Hey guys, okay, so I have got a concealer for you today. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Bear With Me Concealer Serum, okay? I have seen this out and about. I don't know anything about it, so we're gonna read some claims right now. It just came like this, no box or anything. I actually got it in my Walmart. I don't know what happened, but it's got like fuzz and stuff on it, so <laughs> just ignore that. It just says Concealer Serum. Uh, and it gives you all the ingredients. It doesn't say anything else. It's in the shade Light. Bear With Me Concealer Serum. There's a bunch of pictures on here. So I don't know if like it just means like you can put it on your face and body. I don't know. So we're going to try this as a concealer. I don't know, you guys. Have I said I don't know? Because I don't. I have no clue. I wonder if this is like almost meant to be sort of like foundation-y. It is 0.32 fluid ounces. This was the lightest shade. And I feel like it will be good for um, under eyes. It actually looks like it might be a good all over face shade. A little bit on the pink side, but should I just try to put it all over the whole face? Um, biggest problem I have with NYX products is they're notoriously too dark. Um, but my favorite BB cream for years was the NYX BB cream. Can't remember which shade. It's been a long time since I used it. Okay, I think the coverage looks decent. I, I don't think this shade is actually the best shade for what I need. I, I feel like I probably would need something a little bit darker to sort of color correct. Um, what I like about it is it feels like it's drying down. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. Lighting today might be a little bit weird. And also, my battery is running low, so we're going to do this quick. Okay, so for me, this might work as like a no makeup makeup product did I say oh I like that it's drying down but it doesn't seem like it's like crusting up okay I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the areas where I need it this is not gonna work out this is not gonna look great because it's just making my under eyes look gray so I feel like if you got this for, or if, I guess if you didn't, don't have as much to cover as I do and don't need to color correct, this might work out good for you because the coverage does look good. Um, it's drying down. I'm going to get an up close look in just a second. I gotta, this has got to be quick today because <sighs> my battery is running low. All right, so I feel like the coverage is decent, even though this is called Bear With Me. I assume it's meant to be sort of on the very natural side, but it looks good, honestly, like just from my face to my mirror, my face to my viewfinder. It is a tiny bit crusty, I will say, and even around my eyes, it's looking just a tiny bit crusty. And I mean, my pores are looking just horrendous. Um, so it's not like pore blurring or anything like that, and it's just, it's really like, it feels like it's just not good for pores. But I mean, you, they are just really, that's a little bit better. So if you put this around your nose or whatever, just really make sure that you really blend it. I feel like something for this, I might like a sponge to kind of blend over top of it. Um, and you can see like, I don't know if you can tell, um, but it's just looking really, really pink. I know like on the back of my hand, it looks like it might be almost the, the perfect shade. It's not, it's too pink. Um, and once that gets on my face, it's just going to make me look very pink, especially when you contrast it to my neck, which is more on the peachy yellowy side. 
So um, it is crusting up a little bit in my dermal ridges, which means you're going to see it more. Um, is it terrible? I don't think it's terrible. I just don't think it's like the most amazing. I, I wouldn't go out of my way to repurchase this based on the first impression that I'm having right now. Um, it's okay. It's covering. It just doesn't look great. Like it's, it, it's not like, I'm not like, Oh, this is so disgusting, but it's just nothing that I'm just like, yes, you must have this. Um, I will say like on this part of my face here, it's looking good. Like, but anywhere where I needed more coverage, um, it's just looking chalky and crusty. If you have really good skin and you can get away with maybe like a thin layer of this as a concealer, that might do better and it might work out for you that way. I feel like this was pretty expensive. Yeah, this was $11 for... 0.32 fluid ounces which is more than a standard concealer so if you're going to use this for something like a full face or whatever I just don't see how that's going to be a great deal um and it's okay that's all I can give this right now as a first impression is it's okay so um I will wear this for the rest of the day of course like I always do um on camera it's looking really good to my mirror it's looking really good but up close it's just looking a bit crusty um and that's all I can really say about it. So it's just looking crusty. Can't get away from it. That's just that's just the truth of it for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, ding my bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.